Marcus Harvey's basement is filled with reminders of the flooding that's become a recurring ordeal. 2018, this is how high it was. So we had to replace all this uh, wood. When New Brunswick's St. John River bursts its banks, Majorville is all too frequently inundated. So a decade ago, when Harvey was planning to build a new house on his property, he got bad news from his existing insurer. Head office has essentially drawn a big red circle around the floodplain uh, where you are and you were going to get dropped anyway. So essentially pound sand, uh, no insurance for you. His family eventually found another broker, but his case highlights a growing fear among Canadian homeowners as climate change fueled extreme weather takes an increasing toll. Insurance is meant to protect against an if, not a when. And once a, a loss becomes, this is going to happen with a certain degree of certainty, insurance doesn't work anymore. What's known as overland flood insurance has only been around for a few years in Canada, but millions live in areas that make them ineligible for coverage, including most of those affected by recent storms in BC. The flooding crisis prompting the province to offer disaster relief to those who couldn't get coverage, as the industry calls for public money to help fund private insurance too. If we want to open flood insurance up, to those individuals, we will need a partnership with government and that's going to require us to rethink how we pay for this. As for Harvey, he got government help, but doesn't want his tax dollars subsidizing private insurance. It's a money grab and it's unfortunate that that's what they're doing. It's, it's passing, you know, it's passing the baton off to the taxpayer. As climate change strikes, insurers warn claims are growing and now rates could climb too. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.